Hey, pretty gang, it is Jen, your exclusive <laughs> head braid boss in charge. For those of you guys who do not know, make sure you're checking out my braid hair for cash course at braidhairforcash.com. You guys, the girls are upset. The girls are mad with us, okay? So, lovely T, I'll leave the link below, did a video on um, I Am Eloho who posted a screenshot. Hopefully, I'll let the screenshot be seen. Eloho who posted a screenshot. Hopefully, I'll let the screenshot be somewhere up here where um, there was a braider who said that she is charging a pregnancy fee. So I want to come and break down to y'all some of these fees that people are charging for braids. Now, first things first, I don't like to break things down into exact, exact fees, which that is what I'm seeing. And I think that's a part of why people got a little bit upset is because um, these fees are being broke down. My thing is just tell people you're increasing your prices and keep them the same way, okay? Increase your prices. We all know the cost of living is going up. Make sure you're checking out my other video. I'm going to let it slide up here um, where I tell you some, I suggest some fees. So let's get right into it. So let's talk about these fees. The first fee is bad energy fee, baby. So the girls are out here charging for if you have bad energy. Ma'am, ma'am, I done told y'all again, another video. Hopefully I'll let it slide up here. All these videos are going to slide, okay? Because I have a video on, you should not be even charging nobody for bad energy because more than likely if you did your vetting process correctly, you shouldn't be taking on no clients with no bad energy, okay? And don't get me wrong, there's some people who have off days. All of us have off days. There's going to be some days you want a funky attitude, um, but charging people a bad energy fee? No, ma'am. The second fee, girl, people is out here charging a blow-dry fee. Well... I don't see nothing wrong with the bro the blow dry fee because we've been we've moved far from washing and styling hair. Many braiders do not wash and style hair, so I can understand if your client shows up to you, to you and they wash their hair and their hair is a little damp to charge them for it. But really, a blow dry fee? I don't know about that. Then there's a picky fee. If you're a picky, if your client is picky, I'ma charge you a picky fee, girl. That's as worse as a bad energy fee, okay? That also nappy hair fee, or what is also being called is 4C hair fee. Now, I have seen braiders charge based on the thickness or the coarseness of your hair. You have a right to do that. But I think that that should just be bundled into your pricing. I don't think it needs to be like, I'm charging you a thick hair fee. It just needs to be bundled in. If you know that the client is coming to you and they are... They have thick hair. Maybe you charge charging $85 for a style, but because their hair is thicker, you might charge them an extra $10 or $20. You do not need to say that to them. You just need to tell them what your prices are, okay? Then there's also a styling fee. Now, this one threw me. Baby, you're braiding a person's hair. How is braiding their hair not a style? What? How do you charge me to style my hair when... I'm here for you to braid my hair. That's the point of me being here. So I'm so concerned on why people are charging a styling fee when that's the point I'm calling you to braid my hair. That's the style. Braid my, well, not that's not the style, but if I call you, it's because I'm looking at your price list. I already know what style of braids I want. So how are you charging me to pick a style? That's first. The next thing, now this one blew me. This one was like, wait, wait, oh, wait a minute. In my Ray J voice, I was like, wait. The girls is out here charging for a parting fee. Baby! Baby! So now y'all y'all charging to part braids too? Like, that's a part of braiding somebody's hair is to part their hair. So why are the girls out here charging a part fee? Yeah, that, that one threw me, y'all. But pre pretty much people are out here charging if your parts are smaller or larger, something zigzag, but that's a part of the braiding process is that I'm going to have to part your hair to braid your hair. So how are you charging me to part your hair? Crazy. There's also something called a squeeze fee. AKA really what this is, is like a, a walk-in fee or say if I book somebody and they cancel on me and I put it up on my Instagram like, Hey y'all, I gotta, um, I can, I can do somebody care if they need their hair. People, braiders are charging. If people reach out, they're charging them extra because it's a, they're squeezing them in. But if you, if your client canceled on you, are you really in essence squeezing me in? You're not squeezing me in nothing. 
that person was not coming anyway. So now they're calling it a squeeze fee. So I'm going to squeeze you in, so I'm going to charge you for that. Okay? Then also the infamous, the pregnancy fee. So this is where the young lady with the viral post was saying, because she is now eight months or nine months pregnant, and it's, of course, harder for her to braid hair, she's charging an extra $40 on top of whatever she already charges because she's pregnant. Now, a part of having your braid business, it's a side hustle, you can charge whatever you want. However, like I said in the beginnings of this video, I would prefer not to say that it's a pregnancy fee. I would just start charging the additional amounts of money. And if your clients ask you, well, you just braided my hair for 60, why is it now 100? You just let them know my prices have increased. Por qué? Because cost of living is going up. You ain't got to tell them because you're pregnant. You ain't got to tell them because you're tired, you're sleepy. Nothing. Just tell them you raised your prices. You don't need to call it a pregnancy fee. But people are out here calling it that. And the last but not least, honey, there's um, also what they consider a break fee. These are braiders charging people. If you take too many breaks when I braid your hair, I'm going to charge you a fee. This is crazy, y'all. Now, the fees are getting out of hand. I think or I recommend everybody go through your price list and really think about raising your prices but raise them at a fair amount and raise them to something that you can actually see feasible for yourself and your clients okay you have to think about your clients because that's who we're serving is their clients so you guys i hope this was helpful i just want to bring to y'all what's out here in these braided streets so i'll talk to you guys later bye y'all